Okay, I'm out here looking at the trees. As you can obviously see, it's winter time. And the trees are doing what they're supposed to do in the winter time, which is some of them are smart enough and wise enough to drop their leaves so that they can produce fruit next year. This one here is all set up to do that. Look at the red in the, uh, the uh, limbs. Um, there's no leaves on it. All those were dropped uh, months ago. Dropped months ago. This one has obviously done the same. This is a very young peach tree. This peach tree here is uh, about, uh, I'm going to say about a year and a half old. And it's almost the size of the one that's been here for two years. Let's walk further up and see what we can look at up here. These are two apple trees. You can see the two young ones uh, are still doing well. And also we have uh, the three-year-old apple tree, which is doing quite well. That's the honey crisp. And you can see it's buried, so to speak, deep in snow. And as we walk up here uh, in my yard, we see... Well, everything else looks good. And we got a peach tree here that has not dropped its leaves as of yet. Why, I do not know. But it's doing quite well. It's just hasn't dropped its leaves as of yet. It doesn't know any better. And here we have a... Uh, what kind of tree is this? I have so many. Uh, this is a cherry tree, yeah, cherry tree. And it has all the spurs on it. Those are where you, where you get your fruit from. This one here is a bing. And it's gonna give me some cherries, hopefully this year. And here's another bing over here. It has some spur development on it. And then we got the grapevines back here on a single pole system in the snow. And they looking really good. Uh, that's the oldest one there, you can tell. Those were grown from seeds that I purchased at the grocery store. And it will, one, two, three, four, five, six. And this will be the seventh. And also I got some uh, other grape cuttings in the garage. And here we have the onions underneath the snow. And over here is a Another cherry tree, this is a uh, tortellini. It's a larger dark cherry. And it's doing quite well. Have some spur development on it, not a lot, but it, uh, it's doing good. Uh, we got some cat up there. Uh, he's just watching over for some reason. And so, and this is the rest of my uh, garden. It's, it's, like I said, it's pretty much under snow. Grapevines, cherry trees, peach trees, and this right here is an okra, um, an okra plant that should be, I don't want those seeds. They look, it feels mushy. So I don't know what happened to those seeds. It might be a hybrid and they don't develop well. And all of my, uh, these are, what are these? Oh, these are blueberries They're underneath the, uh, the snow here. There's supposed to be a straight line of them here. Total of seven or eight of them. And then you got my uh, rose bush. You got the cherry tree there, which is another tortellini. And then you got the uh, blackberry bush here, which is a uh, completely, looks like it's, see how the green is still there, but it's dormant, it's dormant. Then we got the uh, one that I cut back real hard. This one here's got its little shoot development, ready to go for when the weather warms up, it's gonna just start breaking. I cut it back about two and a half feet tall. And here's the other cherry tree. And very young. This one here is about a year and a half old, uh, and it uh, has very little, if any, spur development, but eh, it's still looking good. And this one here is a Bing cherry tree. It's got a good wood structure. Uh, I work very hard on cutting the uh, the the limbs 
in such a way that I get a good structure, a good uh, scaffold, so to speak, structure to the trees. You can see that on all my trees. They are developing extremely well as far as that. This one here was cut back real hard. Um, so it's gonna, it's gonna break and give me some scaffold branches in the spring. All right.